So I'm back after taking a very much needed day off yesterday and I didn't do anything. In fact, some of these parts drawers really need sorting. So I'm gonna have to crack down on that at some point. But today we're gonna actually be taking a look at a mock that I hadn't planned to do until next year. And it involves this Hungarian horn tail right here. Now my fiance actually owns this set and she has given me permission to switch it up for today's video. And we're actually going to be turning it into a Minoc from Empire Strikes Back. The reason I hadn't expected to do this so soon is I was gonna save it for next year, which is the anniversary of Empire Strikes Back. But I think I might as well do it this year because then the video's out for next year and I can always just post a link when it comes to it because I'm really excited and it's gonna be such an easy change. But the first thing I need to do is give it a dust. Look at all the dust that is collected on the wings of this and we dust every couple of weeks. So it needs a good dusting. We've got no new members yet, but don't forget if you are looking at joining the membership, you do get a toll and I have got a one by eight tolls for any longer usernames that might need the space. I think they're pretty cool. They are 3D printed by myself using my 3D printer. And at the minute, this is all the mess in my Lego room. So I'm gonna be sorting this probably later tonight or over the next few days. And I'm very happy that I've managed to, for the most part, stay on top of my mess. Because if you are also into mock building, I'm sure you feel the pain of building something and then you wanna build the next thing and then you build the next thing. And before you know it, you've got a pile of old Lego models, perhaps some sets that you don't really want to display or don't fit on your display and you just don't want to break them down because it's pulled up. But thankfully my fiance is helping a ton with breaking these down. And we only have a few more models and bits. Most of the Lego you actually saw is from the Malevolence that I built all the way back in January. And I had it originally stored in one of my drawers on the units behind me. One of these drawers, I think they're from I think they're from B&Q and these units are from Homebase, which is very, very handy. And it means they're both very, very cheap compared to some other branded like the Acro Mills that I know most people in America really, really love. And to be fair, they're not exactly too expensive. They're pretty cheap. These are just much, much cheaper. So I'm very happy with the units, but now I've taken it out to break it down. But before we do that, we're gonna be working on the Hungarian horn towel and turning it into a Minoc. So the horn towel is all dusted, looking as clean as it did when it came out the box. Look at the shine on the wing there. I think it's actually a really, really cool model and I'm a big fan of this. We also have Hedwig. We don't have Dumbledore's forks, but forks also looked really, really cool. And I would love to see something like this in Star Wars. I really like the wing mechanism, which is a bit hard to do with one hand, but the wings do flap up and down. I'll show you a bit better once we've transformed it into a Minoc, but you might just be able to see at the top here on the head, if it can focus, we've got some ball joints. There's actually two ball joints holding this head on, so you can't pose it around. There's not much ability to switch the head up and make it point to the left unless you disconnect one of the ball joints, which I feel like is actually gonna be harder than I thought with one hand, but I might need both of them. So I've got my tripod out to see if I can disconnect the head, and there you go, we've got it on one ball joint, so you can have the head looking to the side, but with Harry Potter on the base plate down here, which again, I have removed, sticking out the front, He's not exactly got a bendy transparent bar holding him up. So I don't really know why you'd want the horn towel looking off to the side. But if you don't have your Harry displayed with the horn towel, perhaps you can just connect the one ball joint. And if I pop off the other, these are very, very difficult to work with. I'm not quite sure if that is the right thing to say, but they're great for mechs. They hold on the arms, the legs, and all the other different limbs you might add really, really well. But they're very, very hard to disconnect like this if you want to make an upgrade. So there's the two ball joints. We will have to carry that across to the Minoc. 
the Jaws actually got more moverability and displayability, I'm just coming up with some made up words here, than the rest of the head because you are able to twist the mouth a little bit, which I guess you won't again really want to do. But now we've got rid of the Hungarian Horntail's head, let's make it into a Minoc. And if you were wondering what a Minoc looks like, I do actually have this one. I believe it's from an advent. You can see the wings are quite similar to the Hungarian Horntail. It does have some glowing green eyes on the side of its head and a sucker underneath, but the head looks like it is really connected to the body. So that double ball joint that stops the head looking like a separate piece is really gonna come in handy for building this Minoc. So I finished building the shape of the Minoc head and you can see on the underside, I have made sure to add quite a bit of detail and get the teeth in, especially with how it's gonna be clipped. You'll wanna see the underside and all the teeth that a Minoc has. This is the image I'm using for inspiration and to try and keep some of the detail. And you can see it looks like this one's got a little bit of hair, but they're actually little spikes on the top of its head, which the horn tail already had some spikes on the back and a load of spikes on the head, but I'm gonna switch it up. Rather than go in with these horn pieces, I'm actually gonna try and use some cheese slopes. Now, they do look a bit white, but I assume they'll probably be a bit off colored. So I think the tan coloring is really, really good. And I also notice Minox have no legs. So we're gonna have to deal with those on the back of the horn towel. Though once again, there are some clip elements here. So I'll probably just unclip them because if I detach the whole leg, I guess you could probably detach the whole leg and just tile up these studs on the side. But as far as the head is going, it is going really, really well. I've angled these wedge plates, these hinge bricks, I guess, they're not wedge plates. I think they're just called hinges to get the eyes poking out the side of the head. Again, you can see just top left of your screen, the eyes do come out at a little angle. So hopefully that will look really, really cool. I'll just stack a few brown round plates, I guess, and add a green stud to keep some of the detail from this little Minoc. But so far it's coming together quite nicely. And a while later, with all the Hungarian horn to help pieces removed and the studs smoothed over, we can take a look at the finished Minoc build. I think the head looks really, really creepy from above, but from below, it definitely gets that Minoc look and feel. And that is not the only thing. You can also clip the smaller Minoc just down here on the bottom just like you would with Hedwig and Harry and Hedwig. Perhaps we need like a Han and Leia with the breathing mask, which I think is exclusive to the UCS set, but I really like the way it turned out. Once again, I've just told over the legs. You can see I've used a two by four, a one by three, and a one by one with that round corner. And I think this is best displayed up on our high shelf looking down at you. And I did say I'd show you the wing feature as well. So you can see now that I've got two hands to do it, it is a lot easier and it's a bit hard finding the slow pace because it gets to the top and then they want to just drop back down. But once you find the correct tempo to spin the wheel with, it does look pretty, pretty cool. Of course, a Minoc would be flapping around. So perhaps going at that faster pace is a bit more how you'd see them in universe, but it's a bit harder to do as well whilst keeping it still for the camera. I'm very pleased with how this Minoc turned out once again, especially the underside of the mouth. I think that is the perfect profile for the Minoc. So if you would like to turn your Hungarian horn tail into a Minoc, perhaps I could release instructions for the head of it because the rest of the build is identical. You just remove Harry, remove the back legs. You don't have to stud it off, especially if you're displaying it from a high shelf. You look up and you're not gonna see any of the back legs, but the head is definitely looking really, really awesome. If you wanna see instructions, let me know. I can whack these up for free because there's only a handful of pieces here. And these are all fairly common pieces. I've actually exhausted my supply of the one by one cheese slopes on the front. You can see I've gone with two one by one tiles at the back and I'm gonna to have to take this apart, not just because my fiance would probably rather have a Hungarian horn tail than a Minoc. The Minoc is 
quite creepy, especially when you're not seeing the underside of the face. Actually, it's probably more creepy with the underside of the face, but also because I have a big project coming up with Moss Isley and I'm gonna need all the cheese slopes I can get because there is absolutely none in this tub. This is all my cheese slopes, by the way. I have way more than I'll ever need. I probably actually shouldn't ever say I have more of any brick than I ever need. I definitely have a ton of cheese slopes, but there'll probably be a project that comes up now in a few weeks or a few years times, and I find out that I don't have enough cheese slopes for what I want to create, especially with all the studs that I use for the Moss S, but if I ever need that amount of cheese slopes, I think I'm gonna have to rethink the entire design. But let me know what you think of the Minoc down in the comments because I think it does look really, really cool. And with the buildable droids that we're getting, we're getting R2, we're getting another droid one later this year. Images have been released of a supposed 3PO set, which I'm not gonna speak any further on now, but that does look really, really good. And I don't know what everyone's saying about the head. I really, really like this. It's a big upgrade from Chewbacca, but I'd love to see a, not a Minox specifically, but a buildable creature released next year. Not only do we have the Minox from Empire Strikes Back, we also have the Space Worms, which are really, really cool creatures. I guess they're only worms, a bit hard to come across in Lego. From The Force Awakens, there's a few creatures we could see. I'm not sure if there's any on this scale, but it's also the anniversary of Revenge of the Sith and I'd love to see the free creatures from the arena on Geonosis. I think that would make an amazing set. And personally, you know, a play set would be perfect for me, but if Lego release a buildable creatures, it's gonna be tempting not to pick them up, perhaps have some legs wiggling around or the head bobbing on a few creatures. I'd love to see how Lego make it, similar to the wings flapping on all of the Harry Potter buildable creatures. But that is all for me today. Drop a like on this video before you leave and subscribe for more awesome Lego Star Wars mocks coming right up. And may the bricks be with you, always.